coach is the uh, new head coach, also at Fitzgerald High School, Coach Jason Strickland. Uh, Jason is a South Georgia native who's wisely found his way back home. He's a graduate of Clinch County High School, was on some of those great Clinch County teams in the, uh, uh, I guess, late 80s, early 90s that had a lot of success. Uh, for the last four years, he's been the head coach at Lamar County and has really turned that program around. Uh, around. They were 1-9 his first year, and uh, last year 12-1 and one went to the uh, state quarterfinals. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good run he's had. He's also an assistant at Charlton County, which is obviously a great program here in South Georgia. And we're glad that he's back in South Georgia. Please welcome the new coach of the Fitzgerald Purple Hurricanes, Coach Jason Strickland. Like Coach Brewer, we certainly appreciate you guys uh, putting this putting this event on. Uh, I can certainly tell you where I've been at the last four years. It's a great community, great school, great administration, uh, and and people came out on Friday night to watch football. But really, that was about it. I mean, it was a Friday night event, and uh, that's that's the huge difference between South Georgia and really the rest of the state. And uh, it's 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 awesome uh, being able to essentially talk football all year long. Um, very similar to Coach Pruitt, we're, we're uh, you know, we're at this point trying to figure out who our players are. Uh, we know we've got several guys back. We've got a big senior class and guys like uh, Kevin Coney who's going to be a starting tight end for us. And uh, we've got a, a, uh, our, our strong tackles, a kid named Brett Steverson that's got a few D1 offers at this point. It's a big 6'5", 320-pound tackle for us. Uh, very similar to what Coach is saying, we feel like probably on the offensive side of the football, our offensive line is going to be the strength, especially early part of the season until we kind of get a little bit of our philosophy established on the field with our kids. And um, you know, we're, We run a version of the wing, but it's a little bit different, I think, than, than what Coach Pruitt does. And, um, you know, so we, you know, it's going to take a little bit of an adjustment period for our kids. but. Uh, we're, we're excited about the effort that we've had all summer long. Um, we're, uh, number wise, we'll be right around 80 or so, 9 through 12. Uh, we've had a, had a, you know, just a tremendous summer with participation and, and the effort that we've seen from our kids. Our middle school guys have been averaging right at 60 a day or so out there. So, uh, you know, we feel like Coach Pruitt certainly did a great job here, and, and, and uh, you know, we're. We're excited about the opportunity to come in and, and hopefully be able to build on what the last decade of Fitzgerald football has been. Um, on the defensive side of the football, uh, there again, we still, we're still we very comfortable with where we're at up front. Uh, we've had, got some big guys, probably more size up front than, than I've had uh, coaching football in, in quite some time. Uh, defensive line-wise uh, will be guys like Deion Bivens will be names that you hear, uh, a younger kid named Carl Salters, uh, Ron Neal, Kawan Johnson, um, and, and then uh, our secondary, we'll get a kid that was hurt last year coming back, and a kid named Larry Stewart, um, a kid that uh, played most most year last year for, for these guys, uh, Zeke Coley and, and DJ Smith. Uh, we'll defensively will be very, very senior lady and uh, we're going to expect those guys to kind of lead the way until this offense is able to really get going. Um, you know, I don't, this is, this is new for me. Uh, see, I get up here and all these coaches have got papers and they're doing notes and all this type of stuff. So you can tell that, that uh, I'm kind of the blue blood around here. But, uh, you know, I, I, I can tell you this, we're excited about it. People have asked me, you know, how we feel about replacing Coach Pruitt. And, and uh, you know, we're not going to replace Coach Pruitt. I mean, that's 290-something wins that just, that just left. And, and Coach Pruitt has done a, has, has done a great job um, at, at Fitzgerald. Uh, but what we're excited about is just an opportunity to coach at one of what we, what we feel like is one of the top five or six programs in the state, barring any classification. And uh, we certainly appreciate the job that that uh, those guys did over the last decade or so uh, and, and extremely excited about an opportunity to come in and hopefully be able to take it a, a little bit further uh, but uh, certainly certainly keeping it on par with, with where he's been over the last several years. <laughs> 